I'm sharing my secrets for a classic, no fail, whole roasted chicken. I just have some peeled pearl onions and some carrots, just cut down the middle lengthwise. And we're gonna drop those right in our nice big roasting pan. It's a lot of surface area roasting yep. pan. Okay, so we sprinkle all the vegetables on the bottom of the pan and we're gonna put a, a little splash of white wine. Not that much, because we don't want the chicken to steam, but just a little bit to mellow those vegetables and give a little moisture. Let's get to the chicken. Oh, okay. oh, oh beautiful. Best. Super simple. Season all around, right? Pepper. Salt on both sides, because that's where you're going to get a lot of flavor. OK, the rack. Elevating the chicken when you're roasting it. Why? So heat circulates all around the chicken. A little bit of oil, uh, generally olive oil, just because it tastes good. Brush that rack. Yep. yep. Stickies. Let Sticks. me tell you, just this basic little trick will keep your chicken from sticking when you try to get it out and tears the skin, right? Get rid of that brush. And then literally, and I will salt the underside as well. Don't be shy with the salt. Right in the middle of that rack. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to roast it at 400 degrees. I count about 15 minutes per pound, give or take. So maybe about an hour. And in we go. Oh, yeehaw. I, I will say that one of the top 10 smells in the world is oh. chicken roasting in the oven. <laughs> it is. And what it does to the house. So when you walk into the house when you've been out or something and the chicken is roasting, I don't know if there's, there's not too many sm smells like that. Well, is it OK if I walk into your house with a chicken that's resting upside down? Yes, wow. I, you know that. I've seen this. I think it's a wives' tale. But I want to know from you, because I trust you, your cooking. Why would you do that? If I roasted it upright, right? Mm -hmm. And then I turn it upside down. All those juices flow back through oh. the meat, and particularly on the driest meat, which is the breast meat. Then we just take our roasting pan with those vegetables, and I'm going to add about a cup of stock and some grainy mustard. And we're just going to get that simmering. We make the vegetables and the sauce together right in the pan. Mm. Smart. Turn the heat up. Yeah, less dishes. Oh. And we're getting all those beautiful little roasted bits. Tiny just looking at salt. that backside, staring at me of that chicken. And I could see, like, the, crust. the bubbling yeah. of the skin right there. In terms of doneness, I, I, get, I get so many questions. How do I know my chicken's done? Of course, we go with the classic. Take its temperature in the thickest part of the thigh meat, and we want to get to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how we know the chicken's done. That's right. Once you have that, you're good. Um, I'm an, I am going to add just the tiniest bit of butter. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, um, I do have a, a little fresh tarragon because yes. this takes yes. me straight to a French bistro. Oh. Um, stems and all, by the way. You can take the bottom part of the stem off if it's a little woodsy, you know, a little thick. And just actually a little bit of a rough chop. Not so fine. And don't go over it again and again with a knife, almost as if we were cutting it with a scissor. But that's about a three pound chicken, right? That's a relatively yeah. small, it's almost a fryer. Three, three and a half, exactly. Not that big. Then we take those vegetables out. And like I said, the more tender little pieces or bits, if your sauce is a little bit thin, you can puree a few of these in the blender, right? And get that nice and thick for your sauce. Just let that reduce. We're shaking. You got to taste this a tiny bit as it cooks down, right? Get some of these. I'm kind of getting the vegetables ready, because once you cut the chicken, you got to go. Can't let that chicken hang out, right? Oh, that sauce I smell. I, I just, like... oh. Tiny bit of tarragon, not much. We don't want to go too far with this. Tiny squeeze of lemon juice. I know we're so into zesting and juicing. In this yeah. case, we just want a squeeze of the juice. We're not going for that floral note from the zest here. I'm just letting that come together nice and easy. Maybe a touch more butter. I'm at two tablespoons. And if this serves easily four people or in Jeff's house one, mm -hmm. uh, then I think we're good. It's not just about the chicken mm -hmm. itself. It's about mm -hmm. the pan drippings and the vegetables under there. I mean, they're just as equally important. Oh, yeah. Rather than just roasting a chicken on its own, why would you, why would you just do that? You got to do both at the same time. Scissor or knife. You can clip the chicken apart or you can cut it apart. I just really go in for the thighs and the legs first. And I Turn love how you're chicken. finding the, you know, the joints in there rather than trying to hack through the bone. You know what I mean? All you got to do, if it's cooked properly, it'll pull open and reveal. Actually, stand the thigh and the leg and literally just gently cut, pull, and you can cut straight through. I'm just kind of cutting is this so up. so pretty. Then we have just the breast meat cut straight down. 
Try not to saw too much. Try to just cut straight down with the breast meat. We have our two breasts, thighs, legs. This is where, in the kitchen alone, tiny, this much butter, just right on that breast meat, because it's always dry. No one's going to know about it. Don't tell anybody. This is yeah. your little chef's secret. And also, season that exposed white meat from the chicken and just the tiniest bit of tarragon. You can put a little sauce, too, if you want, just the tiniest bit right on there, in case people don't take sauce. You're kind of making them eat it. They don't even know. They don't know. Look at that. They'll know when they done. take a bite, though. Absolutely. Darn right they will. Right. Those two little oysters hanging out for the smart people. Anything on your board, get back in that sauce. It's just not fair. Chicken on the platter. Beautiful. You do the chicken and the vegetables together. You've got our little sauce. Come to the table like this. We're all on one platter. I know we talk a lot about, oh, I'm going to put it right in the pan I cooked it in. I kind of like plating this one up. I agree. Mm -hmm. Little little leg. This is a classic French bistro. Half the breast with the little wing and the leg. I love that. And then the jus. And you know what? Yeah, you're right. I made this crispy skin. I'm putting sauce over it. Maybe it doesn't make sense, but this is all going to make sense when your family eats it. You are going to, you know, if you have teenagers that don't think you're cool, you're going to be popular again for at least 20 minutes. <laughs> little carrot. Oh, Let's get beautiful. a little, oh, a little flair, right? And just a taste to make sure, right? You should be able to get a bite and drag it oh. in that sauce. Mmm. 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 So good, huh? I mean, this is breakfast, lunch, and dinner.